this lead pencil. There's not a single person in the world who can make this pencil. Remarkable statement? Not at all. The wood from which it's made, for all I know, comes from a tree that was cut down in the state of Washington. To cut the tree, it took a saw. To make the saw, it took steel. To make steel, it took iron ore. This black center we see here, we call it lead, but it's really graphite. I'm not sure where it comes from, but I think it comes from some mines in South America. This red top up here, the eraser, a bit of rubber, probably comes from Nova Scotia, where the rubber tree isn't even native. This brass barrel, <laughs> I have no idea where that came from. Excuse me. Or the glue that holds it together. Literally thousands of people cooperated to make this pencil. People that would never even speak to each other. Who would maybe would hate one another if they met. Just to make this. When you go down to the store and buy this pencil, you are in fact trading a few minutes of your time for a few seconds of the time of all those thousands of people. What brought them together and induced them to cooperate and make this pencil? There was no commissar sending out orders from some central office. It was the magic of the price system. Price. To make this pencil so you could have it for a trifling sum. This is why this tattoo is so essential. Not only to promote productive efficiency, but even more to foster har harmony and peace among the peoples of the world. Now that you know why I have this pencil, I have a question. Why don't you? Spaghetti boys.